So I was looking online and I noticed in one of the comments and one of the rings I was looking at is that the woman said she baked her ring. And I was like, why would you do that? Well, apparently if you bake your ring, it makes it look more like a real diamond. Now, when it's, you know, 18 carats gigantic like this, it's never going to look real, but it makes it sparkle more like a real diamond. So you'll notice here, I put my real diamond with these fake diamonds and it is very very obvious the color difference between a real diamond and a fake diamond the the fake diamonds look almost clear and sure you can have diamonds that are totally clear but they are so expensive that i'll never have one of those nor do i want one i wouldn't spend that kind of money on a real diamond doesn't bill know that i am trying to film a video and he is barking in the background not helpful so what we're going to do is i'm going to get started with doing this and i'm going to show you how to make your fake diamonds look like real diamonds maybe or maybe i'm just going to spend the video chatting with you and this ain't going to work at all i have these adorable little earrings here i love these they go up your ear so you wear them like this and so they go up your ear rather than like hanging down like that i guess you could have them hanging down like that but i actually like them going up your ear. I just think they're cool, but clearly not real. So what I'm going to do is obviously you want to take the plastic off. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to clean these really, really well with water. And once you clean them, you don't want to get any fingerprints on the stones or you could bake your fingerprints into your stones. So be real careful. I didn't film that part. Not sure why you'd think it would have been smart, but I did not. Got the rings, the earrings. And then this ring here is another one of my fake rings that I love that is like, it looks like a good seven carat fake diamond. You know, everybody's gonna think that's real. And I can put that in there and see how it goes. And then my fake, fake diamond. Now, I know everybody is concerned that the metal and the stones melt. And trust me when I tell you that is not the case. I actually went up and looked at the melting point of a lot of different metals. And in my high tech fashion, I wrote them down. So you can see here, I like this. Silver melts at 1,763 degrees, platinum 3,215. So for us, our concerns would be down in the lower ends, but we're gonna be baking it at 400 degrees. So even if there's a huge amount of tin in it, it's still not gonna melt. So now we're gonna head over to the oven. Now, don't judge my oven. Actually, I did clean it recently, so it's not horrible, horrible. So we're gonna put this in the middle shelf. The oven is cold and this is key. You wanna put it in a cold oven and in my oven, the proper temperature is always towards the back. So you put this in the oven cold. Do not turn the heat on until it's already in the oven. And you're gonna set it for an hour, anywhere from an hour to four hours. I'm gonna do an hour, and if I don't see any change, then maybe I'll do it another hour, or maybe I'll call it a loss. In an hour, I will come turn the oven off and then let it cool down on its own. And that should take another hour. I'm just looking to see how that's going to impact my dinner and it's not it's only four the key for all of this supposedly is no i made sure that the rings were totally dry before i put them in the oven because apparently any liquid any water in there can cause or any drastic temperature changes can cause the fake diamonds to crack and so we obviously don't want that to happen because then my ten dollars would be wasted so now gonna wait and we'll see what happens i've heard some people have some like disastrous results with the gold on the outside so i'm hoping that won't be the case because these are not expensive rings later 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 okay so it's actually been four hours ish i think i actually left it in the oven for well over an hour i'm not really sure i got a phone call and i was talking on the phone and yeah, got totally distracted, came downstairs and it was beeping. So turned off the oven and kind of potted around for a little while. And then I made chicken enchilada casserole for dinner and I need to put it in the oven and it still hasn't gotten to room temperature, but it is close. 
I think we're at like 120 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Hope it doesn't crack. So you wanna see my casserole? It's really good. Chicken, onions, green pepper, mixed with chopped tortillas and a little bit of enchilada sauce. And then you put tortillas over the top and put the rest of the enchilada sauce and sprinkle with cheese. And then of course you top it with sour cream and chives and you could probably even serve it with like lettuce and tomato on top. I have a side salad. So that's how the lettuce and tomato are going. Let's get this out of the oven so I can get that in the oven. I'm probably taking this out way too early. Well, let's see, they look pretty sparkly. I don't know, it looks pretty sparkly. It looks super sparkly. Ooh, look at its fat fingers. I have old lady hands now. Oh, look at that. Oh. So, what do you think? It actually does look, okay, you probably can't see this, but it actually looks less white. I'm going to go get the real diamonds and see. Check this out. Okay. I don't know. See, these two are very similar. They look shockingly similar now. See, for me, the big change is this one. So I'm going to do before and after side by side to see if you guys can see a difference. But wow, to me, maybe it doesn't translate well on the camera. These really look different, like not so stark white. This one especially because it's got, now it's got like real depth to it. I was actually kind of worried about this gold. The other gold's a much better quality, not this one. Uh, uh, the gold earrings are a much better quality. But I was concerned this would tarnish because in the video that I watched, it actually tarnished. But she hadn't let her ring dry as well as I had. Mine were totally dry. Because I knew that water can damage it. So I'm actually quite impressed. I've heard the higher quality cubic zirconias don't do this as well. And like this one costs 10 bucks. This one is a higher quality one. So it's not as drastic, but this one, 10 bucks. This one's a lot more expensive, it's, but not a ton expensive. It's not like as expensive as that one. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm actually kind of impressed. I didn't think it would work as well as it did, especially with this really cheap one. I'm, I'm like super impressed. I wonder if it'll come out when I'm editing, if you can see the difference in the before and after. I'll be sure to take some videos outside when the sun's bright, like I did in my before shots and see how it turned out. So see you in the next one. I'm impressed, really.